documentary is about my fish hobby and how it, how it flourished into a fish breeding hobby. So I have a lot of different uh, influences to be doing this. Um, there are a few YouTubers I watch. Yeah, there's fish YouTubers. It's kind of nerdy, but whatever. Laugh all you want. No. <laughs> Um, there are a few fish YouTubers, uh, Rachel O'Leary is a big inspiration to me, the king of DIY, um, Creative Pet Keeping, Simply Beta, and Aquarium Co-op. Aquarium Co-op has its own fish store, like that's gonna be me later. So how my fish keeping, keeping hobby started, on March 16th, 2017, I got my first big aquarium. I've kept aquariums all my life, but this was my first big one. I got a 30 gallon long, which is probably 29 inches long, and then 12 inches like for width, and maybe 17 high. Um, I got that tank from uh, the junkyard. Um, Jerry's mom drove past and called me, and uh, me and Jerry went to go get it with his mom. That was my first ever tank. That's what started it. And um, I remember having cichlids in there. Uh, they're an aggressive type of fish. I had five, I'm pretty sure, or six. Um, and I didn't know, but they were a pair of convicts, right? So one day I was cleaning the tank and I noticed a bunch of little babies swimming around. And I was like, what the heck happened, you know? Um, and the two were the only same fish I had, so it had to be them, and it just sparked it. So I've been, like after that, I was hunting for tanks. And the next tank that I got was a 100 gallon breeder. I don't know how big it was, because um, it leaked in my room, but it was maybe four feet by two feet wide by 20 inches tall. It was crazy, it was a, it was a big tank. Then after that, I was on the hunt for more. I got a 55, um, I put angels in it, and then I got a breeding pair of angels. Um, my first ever breeding pair of angels I got with Ariana and my ex, my ex-boyfriend Alex. We drove like an hour for them. I still have the female. The male, when I got him, had a bacteria infection, and he didn't last long. Um, after that 55, I started working on my shed. Now, my shed is a part of my life that I will never forget, so me and Ariana worked like day and night on this throughout maybe last summer to make it look nice enough so I could put all my fish in there. So that summer, I put all my fish in the shed. I had maybe nine tanks in the shed, and it looked really good. After. August passed, I was like, oh my god, like, it's gonna get cold soon, you know, and I was like, Grandma, can I heat the shed? And she was like, no, so I had to take all the tanks inside, but during that process, it was a lot for my grandma, so she was hesitant at first, but now she, she knows, like, what I'm doing, and she likes it and all that. Um, fast forward to now, I have 28 tanks, I have 10 out in the garage, and I have I think 18 or 19 inside, full of my babies. We're gonna go over some key points on how I do everything in my fish room. I've automated my water change system, so I have a tube going through the ceiling, and it hooks to this PVC pipe thing, and I put it in the tanks, and it just sucks the water out through the ceiling, and then goes down to my tub in my laundry room. Um, another thing is that most of my breeding tanks I don't run gravel or sand they're just spray painted on the bottom black so I don't have to clean the substrate. Uh, I grow all live plants in my aquarium so that it extracts nitrate and ammonia from the tank so it doesn't harm my fish and it cleanses the water to be clearer. Uh, another key point for uh, keeping fish is maintenance. Um, like, not water changing, but uh, cleaning the filters and filter pads and everything. Um, I don't use hang on the backs, I use one, but that's just because the airlines won't reach. Um, I use sponge filters in all my tanks. If the sponge filters don't do their job, 
the live plants in the tanks will suck up the waste from the fish and produce uh, fresh oxygen for the fish. And that's another thing that helps me. Um, feeding, I do feeding every day. I'll skip maybe a Saturday if I'm out too late Friday night, but that's about it. And if I'm gonna have them lay eggs in a week, I'll slam them with protein. Any fish, I don't care if it's herbivore, they'll eat it, they'll eat anything. Now let's go over some of the fish that I have. So, the fish that I breed on my breeding wall are Texas cichlids, Gold Ocelotus Shell Dwellers Neolampologus Volupii Emerald River Rainbow Fish Red Devil Neolampologus multifasciatus And I also do a uh, catfish and it's a albino cori